Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The scripture says in Philippians, the third chapter, I want to begin reading in your hearing verse 12. Paul said, not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold on that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I came to remind someone, press on. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for all that you have done. Thank you for your great mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Father, that we have the opportunity to know a God who all wisdom, all glory, and all honor belongs to. You are great, God, and you are greatly to be praised. So, Father, I pray that your word go forth in clarity. I pray that every person that is supposed to hear this message, God, I declare they shall hear it today, Father, and they shall receive what you you have for them. So Lord, I ask that you would anoint me and anoint this message even the more, Lord, that I may preach your word, Father. And Lord, I pray it go forth in clarity. So I ask that you would lead me by your spirit through this message so that your people would be edified and you, my Lord, would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart, Father, let it be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, I pray and I ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. There is nothing greater than pursuing after the Lord. Hallelujah. To take hold of that which Christ has taken hold of you for. To press on, you know, to be all that Christ has saved you to be and desires for you to be. And we must strain as believers. We must strain to receive, meaning push, you know, to receive that prize. You know, what is that prize? Knowing Jesus even the more. Hallelujah. We will never know all that we, you know, can about Jesus, but we can certainly press and to learn more, press more every day to learn more and more about our Savior. And why? When you know more and more about Jesus, then your witness just grows more. Then you can proclaim, you know, his death, burial, and resurrection. Hallelujah. How he got up from the grave and what he did when he walked on this earth and how he saved you, how he delivered you, how he turned you, you, you know, your life, he turned your life around. When you press, hallelujah, get into the word and press to know about our Savior, press to know about who he is and what he can do. That only makes your witness even the better. So when the Holy Ghost unctions you and comes upon you, because the Bible says we shall receive power after the Holy Ghost. So when the Holy Ghost wants to flow through you, wants to minister to someone, guess what? You're ready, hallelujah, because you know about this great Savior that we have, hallelujah. You know all that he has done, and you know what Jesus is capable of doing. I want you to know today, I came to remind you to press, hallelujah. Press on, because God has a call for your life, hallelujah. Press on, because Jesus wants to be Lord of your life. Press on because the Holy Spirit wants to use you, hallelujah, for God's glory. Again, I say to you, press on today. Press to know more about Jesus, hallelujah. Press to be, you know, available. Put everything aside. Jesus wants your heart, soul, mind, and strength, hallelujah. That's what God wants from us. So set every weight that so easily besets us. Set it aside so that the great God that we serve can use you for his glory and then show you why, you know, he saved you. What is it that God wants to do through your life? This world can use you. Sin a man can use you. Hallelujah. They need you to proclaim the gospel. 
They need you to give them the hope that's inside of us. And that's Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Know today that God loves you. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, press on and keep your eyes on Jesus. Close God bless you. One of my you. videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.